And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Minecraft. And our farm is going great. We've been harvesting, and we've got maximum worms in there now. And all is going very well. This thing is growing like crazy. And I've got another farm ready to go. It's been pre-wormed and ready for more goodies. Uh, flour is anxious to start harvesting and growing all sorts of different things with Pam's because uh, yeah there's a lot we can do with this you know you put as you put ingredients in this list will get longer and longer and longer so good times but we are on to tools we need a better tool diamond diamond is good and all but it's not it's not the best so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to throw in some cobalt. We're going to throw in some tin. I don't really need ardite for this. So I'm going to put ardite away. Just so I don't, I don't want to accidentally put it in. Oh, best friends forever? How did you get that achievement? Of course. Ah, yes. Uh, okay, so we got a little mismatch of things in here. Uh, let's see. So what I'm going to do, I was looking through the materials in you browser here and obviously the, uh, let's go back to tool materials. The head is going to be cobalt. So the head of it is going to be durability 780 mining level is cobalt. Obviously mining speed is 12, which is awesome. Uh, and attack really doesn't matter because it's a pickaxe and we're not going to use it to attack things. Now the handle, uh, we have to pay attention when you're browsing through this. This modif this modifier here, <clears throat> if this is under 1.0, that's bad. If it's over 1.0, that's good. But it has to combine with a durability that's not negative. So if we look at our date, modifier is 1.4, which is good. Durability is minus 200. So what it's going to do is take the base durability of the weapon or the or the tool, subtract 200, and then multiply it by 1.4. So in the end, you might you might run into problems. So Ardite here has got a good durability, but really low mining speed. So we want uh, a pickaxe head out of cobalt. So here's a cobalt cat or a head cast. Let's make sure that cobalt is on the bottom. And this is a two cost. So we'll be able to get two pickaxe, he pickaxe heads out of this thing as soon as they cool and get another one. So there is a cobalt pickaxe head with a durability of 780, mining speed of 12. And we're going to take that one, and uh, now we have two of them. So we're done with that cast. Now we need a tool rod. And tool rod, I am going to make out of tin. So if we look, it, even though it's kind of counterintuitive, uh, I believe tin is somewhere down here. Yeah, tin. Yeah, the modifier is 1.34, so it's going to multiply our durability by that, and it's going to also increase our durability 120. So it's going to take that 780 durability, add 120 to it, which is really good. Recover when seriously injured at a large cost. I don't know what that cost is, but uh, you know, I'm, I'm not really sure I want to know what that is. So we're going to put tin on the bottom. By clicking on it and then pour ourselves a tool rod. One, two tool rods. So there are two, two, two tool rods. Now our binding, I was taking a peek at our binding here. And tool materials, I think I want to do the binding, which is the extra here. Uh, the extra is the binding, you know, or the, you know, a lot of, a lot of, things that aren't handle handles and heads are are extras so this is your tools damage is increased as a bone now we don't have to actually melt the bone down uh, we just have to grab uh, let's see we just have to grab the part builder 
put the binding in. Material cost is one, so we should only need one bone for each each binding. So I want two of these. And then we go to the tool station, go to pickaxe, put the head, the rod, and the binding in, and there we go. Cobalt pickaxe, 1,252 durability, mining speed 12, uh, and the attack is low. But it's, again, it's a pickaxe, not, not for attacking. And uh, the modifiers is 3, and that's going to be important. The modifiers are going to be very, very important in a second. So we want to put some modifiers on there. Well, what modifiers can you put on there? Well, if you open up the manual here, you can see there's a whole division or a chapter named modifiers. There's a whole lot of modifiers that you can put on these uh, and depending on what you want. And you can also put more modifiers on. They're, the recipes are not cheap, but you can, I think, get a maximum of like five more modifiers. So if we look in uh, JEI for modify or modifiers, uh, you can see we have iron toolkit, gold toolkit, diamond toolkit, and ender toolkit. So all of these add another modifier onto a tool. So you have your base three that you can use plus four more which is which is great but these again are not cheap recipes you have uh, pig iron which is also not a cheap craft uh, so if we go to alloying it takes molten iron blood and molten clay to make some pig iron so I mean it's the cheaper of the two but you also need a whole lot of iron for this the gold one Again, Ardite heavy, Ardite plate, and a block of gold. The diamond, Prismarine, so that, that is not easy to get in a diamond block. And an Ender toolkit is Obsidian plate and an Ender pearl. So you can add more modifiers onto them. For now, let's look at maybe increasing uh, the speed of the tool and the uh, basically, uh, let's see, get this one, two, three, four, five, and then these. I only have five lapis. Do we have any more lapis? I don't need much more. I just need a little bit more. I don't think the. Yeah, I don't think there's any lapis in here. Uh, okay, go to the tool station here, and we're going to put in the pick. It says three modifiers. It's got SOS, momentum, and fractured. Those are the traits that it has due to the materials that we put on it. And you can actually get that information by holding control and see all of the different uh, materials. So tin tool rod, cobalt pickaxe head, bone binding and those tells you okay the SOS comes from the tin tool rod and so on so I want to put haste on this and haste is made from the block of redstone and every block you can see haste 9 out of 50 uh, so there's 18 there's 27 36 45 well I can put in individual and get that up to 50 and it's going to use a modifier. You can see modifiers too. Now, if we go in here and do a little bit extra, you can see modifiers drops again. So you got to be very, very careful. So now our mining speed is up to 17.5. That is really good. <clears throat> but we also may want some fortune on this. So let's go to fortune. Well, this is going to give us 45 out of 60 luck, uh, which I don't really know what it's going to do for us. So we gotta we gotta see. Why am I not able to pull that out? 45 out of 60. Is it because it's not? Yeah, I don't. 
it's not pulling it out, I think, because it's not maxed out. So I'm going to leave this pickaxe here for flour. And we're going to go try to find ourselves a little bit of lapis. Uh, might as well use what diamond pick I have left. So let's see if we can find a little lapis down here. Oh, look at that. There's some right over here. Nice. How much did I get? 50. That's not bad. There's some more down here. Don't want to mine too much because I'm, I'm putting, I'm trying to put luck on this thing. And it would be better to uh, mine more when I can get a little bit of luck out of it and get even more material every time I mine something. So like diamonds and emeralds, uh, certus quartz will all give me more after putting all this lapis on here. So we're going to go over here. This. Uh, I think I need... Well, how many more of these do I need? Yeah, I need at least another... At least another block. So I'm going to put another block on there. 54. Get this up to 60. So luck one. Bingo. So now we've got luck one on this thing, which is essentially fortune one. So if you do the same lapis on a, like a sword, it gives you looting one instead of fortune one. So it's the same material, only, you know, a little bit better, just a little bit better equipped with uh, what you need. So I'm going to get six more blocks. So we have enough to put uh, another fortune on here, but do I want to use it for fortune? Because it's going to use that last modifier. I think. Uh, now we need 180. Hmm, do I have enough lapis for that? Is I found some more. Want me to bring it up? Yes. So you need 60 for the first set. It's only 11. Yeah, I need a lot more. This is way more lapis than uh, I had planned for. But it looks like it's not going to use, for, for lapis at least, it's not going to use that extra modifier that we have. That would be awesome. I think haste actually takes the modifier, but lapis seems like <laughs> it leaves it alone. The other thing I want to do is upgrade this. Oh, I actually put that on there. Interesting. I want to upgrade this tool station. And let's cut it down here. Wink. So we're going to upgrade it to a tool forge right here. That's why I have those blocks of iron on me. Uh, I didn't really need them on me because reasons. And then this. So the tool forge is going to open up like, all sorts of goodies. It is going to allow us to build the hammer, the excavator, and the lumber axe, which are all phenomenal tools. You don't really need a lumber axe in this game because I have a vein, I have vein miner on her. But the lumber axe, apart from the regular axe, the lumber axe can chop down a whole tree. Uh, so if you don't have vein miner on, lumber axe is great. Uh, and uh, the hammer does a 3x3 three three area uh, when you're digging. And the excavator, same thing, 3x3. Three three. Hammer is used for stone-like things. Excavator is used for dirt-like things. So phenomenal phenomenal tools there so if we go through here we're gonna want this hammerhead pattern 
we're gonna want a plate we're gonna want a tough binding tough tool rod excavator head you can see their material cost on these excavator head material cost eight that's eight ingots material cost eight for the hammerhead eight ingots large plate eight ingots so these higher level tools require a lot more material to actually use uh, we have different sword blades we have you know you can make your own arrows you can make your own just all sorts of things uh, sharpening kit which we don't really need to get into so let's put all of these in there <clears throat> and now we have access to all sorts of goodies So this is sort of the pre-power way of mining. And uh, I think, yeah, see, I've got, I really wish I would have known about that lapis. I forgot about the, la the excessive lapis cost here. Uh, I don't want to grab some of this stuff here. Ooh, lots of, lots of XP there. There's some lapis. Boink. Okay, that was, uh, a whole stack of lapis just from those like four blocks that's not bad I really should really put stairs on this hopefully we won't have to go down to mine very much more uh, soon soon I hope so if we go and make some more blocks out of this I have another two stacks on me all right well, you're going to have your own axe to upgrade, too, so that's going to help that out. Okay, so even though it's got 52 durability loss, I think we'll be able to actually upgrade this a little bit. 78. 80. So there's luck, too, on this thing, and we still have a modifier left. So... Uh... Can we put luck three? Oh, we're going to need a lot more lapis. A lot more lapis. Holy cow. Uh, and the redstone, of course, we're going to want a lot of this stuff. So let's just get all the blocks that we can. Put those in here. Ready for waiting. Are ready to upgrade this once we get another lapis l load on there it'll be luck three and then I could probably put the rest of the redstone on there for for making it even faster and then all you need to repair once the durability runs out it'll sort of break the the tips of your pick it won't actually break the tool and all you need to do is use the tool forge with uh, a material that you built it out of. So in this case, something like cobalt ingots, like two cobalt ingots would repair this thing and make it look like shiny. it's shiny and new again. So I want to smelt like nine. Oh, I actually have cobalt on me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm going to smelt like nine cobalt ore. And that'll give us like four blocks. And we can use those four blocks to repair tools as needed. So yeah, I encourage everybody to go through all of the tools, the tool materials, and the modifiers, because there's a lot of them in here. Uh, you know, emeralds, you can add an emerald to it, 50% base durability increase. I mean, that is huge. Uh, really, really nice. The Silky Jewel gives you Silk Touch. Uh, you can do Beheading. We can do Reinforced. You put enough of these Reinforced upgrades on, 
and the tool becomes unbreakable. Never runs out of durability. So pretty much all of the regular enchants that you can put on a, on a tool or a weapon are available as modifiers. So like necrotic. Necrotic bone uh, will actually give you health as you, you know, smite enemies. So yeah, there's a lot of a lot of good stuff that this mod offers. And uh, it's just it's just so good. It's so good. Alright, so we have four blocks of cobalt ready to go. One, two, three, and four. This stuff takes a while to cool down, so I want to get that poured out. But that'll have to do it for this episode. And I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.